Three things actually. Krishna is the supreme controller, which means every situation that comes on our plate has actually been sanctioned by Krishna because he's the controller. Second, Krishna never makes mistakes, which means what we get is well calculated by him over lifetimes. We don't know ourselves as well as Krishna knows us. We don't love ourselves the way Krishna loves us because we see ourselves 50 years into this body. But Krishna knows us for the last 50 billion lifetimes. He knows every single thing that we have done, spoken, conceived and even imagined. All the dreams, all the thoughts. And third, most important, Krishna loves me like no one else in the whole creation has ever loved me. For each one of us. Even we don't love ourselves the way Krishna loves us. Even our mothers can't love us the way Krishna loves us. Because when we were in our mother's womb, we had not seen our mother, our mother had not seen us. We left the previous mother, we came into the new mother, between the two mothers, who is the one protecting me? Who is the one loving me at that point and nourishing me in the womb? My mother gets attached to me after I am born, but what about before I was born? Where was I? Krishna was loving me even then.